Hello friends. Uh, let us discuss uh, an important uh, problem that uh, we have been facing nowadays. Uh, we have been noticing that uh, the majority of fungal infections, particularly in the groins, uh, that is tinea cruris, in the uh, intertrigo between the fingers, and uh, in some other area like uh, axilla. And uh, the generalized pests like tinea corporis, etc. They are becoming notorious uh, uh, to the conventional treatment of the fungal diseases. Uh, the problem is increasing day by day, and uh, there is also an issue that uh, the majority of companies they have been selling their products over the counter, and the people they actually purchase these products from the counter and then apply these creams uh, in the affected area. The problem is that that majority of these creams uh, are the combinations of the antifungal drugs as well as the corticosteroids. The long term use of the corticosteroids may lead to the uh, decrease in the local immunity and uh, the increase in the disease frequency as well. Uh, in spite of several instructions, the practice of purchasing these uh, antifungals plus the corticosteroid creams is the same. Now the government has not been taking any um, precautionary measure, neither uh, any regulator is taking care of all these things. These products are being selling like hotcakes. Uh, in the country like India, where uh, at least the seven to eight months uh, period is uh, having the increased moisture in the environment and causing the moisture component in groin and axilla area leads to the increase in the fungal afflictions. Uh, to counter these issues, we have uh, tried many uh, new things. First, we tried uh, some natural uh, herbs preparation to keep the area moisture free. Because it is very true that uh, if we could keep the area moisture free, the incidence of fungal infection can be reduced up to a certain extent. We can manage these fungal infections very well. Uh, apart from that, we have advised and uh, we have been advising to the patient that please do not use steroid cream uh, with the, these uh, antifungal formulations and but on an analysis and of the market we have observed that the 90 percent of the fungal creams they are the combinations of antifungal steroid as well as some antibiotic uh, formulation. So, to find the to find out the solutions of these problems, we have just asked the patient to stop using the steroid cream first. Then, uh, the basic aim is to keep the area moisture free. So, we have formulated some natural uh, um, uh, powders in the form of the talcum powders for the application in these areas. So, we have noticed that uh, the moisture component is reduced considerably and uh, owing to this reason, the chances of fungal infections means growing of the fungus in that particular area is reduced up to a certain extent. Apart from that, uh, it is also very important to notice that uh, um, in spite of very extensive fungal infection, there is not any added advantage of using the oral antifungal agents because uh, even they causes the gastritis in majority of the cases and uh, might have some other untoward reactions. So instead of if the cream is not suitable we can use the lotions uh, in these areas after uh, I would rather advise to apply these uh, lotions or cream in the night and in the morning just the talcum powders. Even after application of these uh,
creams and uh, uh, lotions the sprinkling of some talcum powder made of some natural herbs may be applied uh, uh, to combat these infections uh, in groin and axilla area particularly uh, so by doing these things i would rather uh, we can get rid of all these fungal infections and we can manage our skin in a very beautiful way that's my personal request to all of uh, my viewers that please don't take these steroid creams in excess obviously they can be used for a short term period to uh, just reduce the inflammation in that particular area for the better relief and the quick relief but the long term use of steroids ought to be avoided thank you very much